Good morning, Thrifty Adventures. It is Monday, July 1st. Hopefully everybody's June was fantastic. It was a little slow for me, but it was a crazy month um, personal-wise with family and summer starting and baseball and everything. So um, I'm perfectly fine with it being a little slower. So anyways, we are going to show you what I have sold today over the weekend. Um, last week was a little bit better than the weeks prior, um, so we're starting to get back up there a little bit. Hopefully July will be that much better, but let's go over my numbers. All right, so I have 40 items that sold for the week that totaled $1,076.37. Um, fees were, uh, let's see, $161.46, and my cost of goods were $206.50. Let me try to close this window just a tad bit. It looks like I'm getting some bad lighting here, you guys. There we go. I'm trying to do it in a different room today with my kids still sleeping. So we'll see um, how that works. Hopefully they'll stay asleep the whole video. So anyways, um, so my profit for the week was $708.41. My average sale price did go up a little bit to $26.91, so I am happy with that. Let's jump into what we have sold. All right. So I always say look at ugly, right? This cat is not a pretty cat to me, but that's okay. It still caught my eye. Um, cat and dog and animal um, figurines catch my eye. So you always want to look for the, the good plastered ones. Um, and this one had a name on it. So it has this marking here, 2003 Telly Stein. And then if you look at the bottom, it's got a tag. So it says the Stone Bunny and it's got a number. So I just looked up the Stone Bunny with that model number. Um, and this came up, so um, it was pretty easy to look up. So always look out for animals. This one sold for $25. Um, next, we have some boots. This is a brand new boot. They're nice, insulated work boots. It is by Kamek. I have not heard of that brand before, um, but you always want to look for the nice, insulated work boots. Um, there's our waterproof, um, so people will spend money on, on some good work boots. And these were 45 is what that sold for. I think I bought them for about 10 Next are some Poshmark. I sold four things on Poshmark this week. Um, this is a good brand to look out for, Nat Nast. Um, this one is 100% silk. Um, this one had a little bit of fading in the armpit area, which I did disclose in the picture. Um, so even with that, it still sold for $30. They normally sell between $35 and $40. Um, so even with that little flaw, it sold for $30. So always look out for Nat Nast. Next is Patagonia. I don't know that one. Um, it has a big Patagonia graphic on the back. Um, this one also sold on Poshmark for $35, and I actually found one, the exact same shirt, but a size medium, so it was nice because I'm able to just add that right to my listing. I don't have to do anything different except for I took a picture of the medium size tag and um, added that instead of the large. This one... This one was a buy that I knew I wasn't going to get tons of money for, but I just loved it, so I had to get it. It is Sleeping Beauty. Um, it is a Disney tag, just a regular um, Disney tag, nothing nothing special, no parks or anything like that. This one um, sold for $15 on, on Poshmark. And then... This one also sold on, this is the last Poshmark. This one is Hocus Pocus. And this one I thought would sell for more. It only sold for $12. Um, I took a lower offer because I just kind of wanted it gone. But it, I think the problem with this one is that it says it's a 3X, but it's a very, very, very small um, 3X. So the measurements just aren't there. And I think that's what the problem was with that one. 
next we have a scrub top. This one didn't take too long to sell. It's Chip and Dale, who you don't see a lot of. Um, it is Disney branded. Um, I think I only had this up for a few days. It sold for $15. Most of my scrub tops sell between $15 and $20. Um, so I don't like to um, spend more than $3 on them. Um, I don't do too many items that, that sell for that dollar amount, but these seem to go pretty fast. So that's why I, um, that's why I still pick these up. Is there a good bread and butter item for me? I, I'm a lot pickier than I used to be, but I definitely still pick them up if I can get a good deal on them. This one, I don't remember where I heard about this, but I heard Johnny Cupcakes was a good seller. It's a cupcake shop. And this is the tag. Some of their t-shirts sell better than others. This one didn't do fantastic, but I only spent a couple dollars. Um, it sold for $16.56. But some of their t-shirts do sell for much more, so always look out for Johnny Cupcake. All right, next we have LuLaRoe. I do not buy a lot of LuLaRoe anymore. Um, it just doesn't seem to do well for me, but some prints still will. So this one I only had listed for a few weeks. It is Little Mermaid, Ariel, and Flounder. And if you don't know the style of it, I just Google, like, shirt styles LuLaRoe, and I just... Um, compare mine to all if you go right to images it'll show you all of the styles and what the names of them are um this is was a size large um i think i picked this up for about three or four dollars and it sold for 27 dollars and two cents all my numbers are odd because i always have a sale going on in my store so that is why my numbers are a little different this is a vhs crash madness um, monster trucks do well for me. This one sold for $12. Um, you know, I can pick up VHS is pretty cheap. Next, this person bought two Department 56 items from me. Um, I have a bunch of Department 56 from an estate sale that I cleared out. Both of these together sold for $23.29. I, on average, got these items for about $0.75. Cents. Um, so it's a good profit margin either way. Um, I ship them right in a box. This will go right together. Uh, don't need to do too much padding because they're already all styrofoamed. So that's what's nice about these. Um, and then when you're looking them up, all you have to do is type in Department 56, and they all have little numbers at the bottom. So you just type that in for comps. Easy to look up. Um, this one I actually got at Goodwill for $0.99. Cents. This Department 56 Ailmates. And this one sold for it was, yep, $16.56. So not too bad. I think I only had that listed for a couple weeks. Um, next we have Play Mobile. So this is a couple good things going on for it. So Play Mobile can also be a really good um, brand to look up. It's almost like a Lego kind of type thing. Um, it's got the numbers on it so you would just look up Play Mobile and the model number. Um, it's got all the people on the back and it's got instructions in the inside. Um, some sets will go for a lot and some sets won't, so always make sure you're looking them up. This one I got at Savers, and I spent $10 on it, and I got lucky because there's another nativity set that's the next one. This is number, what, 5588? 5589's instructions and pieces were in here, so I was able to sell this for more since it had both sets in there, so I got $47.99. For this one. Um, nativity is always something good to, to look for <coughs> in toys and sets. Um, I saw a lot of nativity items. So always look out for nativity. Um, next is Paul Diano's Battle Zone record. I got a whole bunch of records for free. Um, when I'm looking at records, I look for like metal bands, rock bands from the 70s and 80s. Those are what seem to do 
the best, those types of artists. This one sold for uh, $20.71. Everyone always asks how you ship them. So for records, one, there are record mailers. Like if you get a whole bunch of records, you should probably invest in record mailers and do it that way. If not, what I do is I take a box and I just, um, I normally take, I can have Amazon boxes or just different boxes, but plain brown box because it's going to go media mail. So you can't use priority box. So you're going to open that box up so it's laying flat. And I just take the record, lay it on one side, and I wrap the cardboard over on the other side. Um, tape that all up, and then I um, put it in a poly mailer. It's good to take the record out and lay it on top like this when you're mailing it. So that way um, it doesn't bend inside and it doesn't crease the sleeve. That's the best way you want to ship these items. All right. That one. Uh, I one. I fell down here. All right, this was a tracksuit. I've actually had this one for a while. I've had offers. I had someone buy it and not pay and all that fun stuff. So this is a vintage and Nike. There's the tag. So the black with the red swoosh, like 90s. This is that. And it had the pants as well. So tracksuit together sold for $40. Nice, easy, go right into a poly. Off it goes. All right. And then my last three are all Department 56 houses. Once again, my average is about 75 cents. Um, I Someone bought these all together for $39. So we have Santa's Lookout Tower. Once again, you're just going to look up the numbers right here at the bottom. Nice and easy. This one is Greyhouse. And Elfie's Sleds and Skates. So all three of those are going out today. So I'm glad to clear up some of that room in my garage. Um, but that is everything that I have going out from the weekend. Um, now I just have to get to work. Um, start of July, we want to, we are what, six months away from December? Um, or five months away? So you want to make sure you are getting, um, I know it sounds crazy when you're thinking of summer, but you want to make sure you're starting to get ready for that fourth quarter now that we've started the third quarter um so make sure you're getting and preparing yourself for that we have um a, the sale coming so ebay came out with an announcement um that they are doing sales in combatants of um ebay or amazon's prime day so ebay is going to be doing their own um, crash sale day so make sure you look into that you can see that on eBay's page um, and you can look at what their plans are that way um, you can put sales up or make sure you have um, a plan of attack for that um, other than that I hope you guys have a fantastic day and I will talk with all of you soon bye bye